Welcome back to ZM Jack. Today we got nuked, gunslinger, suicidal. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> really tired. Um, I, uh. I'm gonna have trouble recording these two characters. There's definitely not gonna be a gunfire reborn one going up today. Uh, uh, today, yes, but uh, over the weekend, it's just it's not gonna be happening, dude. It ain't gonna happen. It's not. Uh, it's not viable. I am far too tired to get any gunfire reborn done today, and I just don't really want to do anything on my day off. I like my days off. I value them. Yeah, just a bad week. It's just a bad week. It's the way that it goes, though, right? It's the way that it goes. You know, can't uh, can't do anything about that. So. Don't want to go this way. Wanna go that way? That's not so. I don't like these guys are too uh, too similar, you know. Too similar. These guys and the other ones, they look the same to me. You might say, hey, they look so different. No, to me they look the same. Okay. To me they are identical. This guy and the uh, the gore fast, the gore fiends, they look the same. The riders, they they the skins, they just look so similar to me. Want to stay around here, dude? You guys, uh, you guys know cursive? You guys know how to do cursive? As a child, we were taught how to do cursive in school. I don't know if they still teach you how to do cursive in school. Um, it's kind of an outdated, excuse me, it's kind of an outdated uh, skill, right? Because um, you know you don't need to know how to, to write, like at all, honestly. Um, you could you could probably I'm not saying we shouldn't teach our kids how to how to write because like that's obviously going a step too far okay it's not a necessary skill but it is still a useful skill but I, I bet that uh, if you were to be born and never be taught how to actually write like, by hand you'd, you'd probably still be able to live a, a pretty fine life like there's solutions to any situation where you'd have to write right like all of them, and it's not just uh, you know like special needs solutions for for people who have like uh, poor you know mortar mortar skills or whatever, right? Like the printer solves almost all of your your writing issues, really. Um, computers just kind of naturally solve it, make it uh, not necessarily a necessary skill anymore. Although. Uh, Definitely, like, I mean, when's the last time you guys actually wrote something by hand? Like, by hand. And I don't care, like, a signature? That's that's writing something by hand, okay? But when's the last time you guys had to do that? Just a casual nuke sitting out there? Uh, when's the last time you guys had to, uh, to write something by hand? Anything by hand? I bet it was a while ago, right? You go back to, to like the 1950s, 1960s, how often were you writing by hand? Probably like, maybe not daily, but it was very frequent, right? Like, and you wanted to write a letter to somebody, you wanted to leave a note for somebody, you wanted to sign some paperwork. You know, you, you, you have to, to write by hand for the most part, right? Like you got typewriters and stuff and... Computers come out kind of soonish, <laughs> uh, but you know, uh, even then, like not uh, not super commonplace for for quite a while. Um, so it's kind of like uh, you know, writing back then was was a, a very important skill to have. You couldn't you couldn't get by without knowing how to write very well in uh, in like a, a modern first world, like you know, modern at the time first world country uh, you, you you'd, you'd need to have uh, the ability to write to, to be able to, to survive in the world and, and sign your name on stuff and, and all this kind of stuff whereas nowadays you know digital signatures are, are good enough for, for almost anything um, like your phone you know and not not to say that you, you write on your phone because that's writing too okay that's writing too um, but like uh, just having your phone like as a form of authentication on its own is, is good enough for like 
most places, even some government agencies. As long as you have your phone and your your like ID, like pieces of ID, uh, phone for uh, for like two-factor authentication, or whatever. Like, if you're gonna go to like uh, the post office, wherever they're not gonna ask you for your phone. But if you're gonna log into your post office account, having your phone is, is generally speaking good enough for that, right? You don't have to like write down the address that you want to send it to. You don't have to like you, you if your phone's got all that you need to do. It's all digital, right? Um, as long as you got two pieces of ID, they'll, they'll they'll punch it into the computer, and then you go and punch your thing into your computer, and you're you're good to go, right? Like, uh, yeah, you just you don't really need to know how to write. It's not necessary. Useful though, useful. I write now and then. I have uh, I have a journal, as I've uh, explained before. You can hear it there. I think the most people out there do tend to write every now and then. But it's not uh, it's not very common, right? It's not very common. I mean, a lot of people don't. I mean, a lot of people go weeks, months without ever writing anything. You know, like you can do that. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, there are people who live in areas where trees are an uncommon sight. You know, like there are people who live in uh, in cities that don't have uh, trees in them. There just aren't trees. And, uh, you know, if you go to a park or something like that, you'll, you'll find some trees at the park, maybe. And if you go down, like, uh, specific roads, there might be some trees on it. But, like, you know, your life doesn't really take you by these areas that have trees. And I mean, it's just trees, so who really cares anyway? You're not going to go and check them out. But, like, at the end of the day, there are people out there who uh, will occasionally go a day without seeing trees. You know? Without, without seeing a tree. And I mean, plants for sure. You'll you'll much much rare for people to go days without seeing flowers, plants, you know that kind of stuff. Because you got them in planters and on window sills and all this kind of stuff, right? Like you you got flowers there, but a tree, like a proper, you know, like a tree. You know what I mean? Uh, is uh, is definitely in some areas of the world not a uh, a thing that people see every single day, and uh, that's kind of insane to me because for me. If I look out my window right now, most of what I see are trees. Um, so it's like kind of crazy that, that there are people who go days without seeing trees. You know what I mean? It's not like trees are there. There, there aren't very many places where uh, you're gonna go months without seeing a tree, but like there definitely are. And you know, depending on your lifestyle, you might not necessarily see a tree for for months. Even living in an area where. Uh, where trees are pretty prominent. Like I could go days without seeing a tree, but I'd have to, I'd have to like try, you know. I'd have, I'd have to be going out of my way to make sure I'm uh, not leaving my house, not looking outside a window, because it's they're everywhere, right? They're everywhere, surrounded by them. The moment I look outside my house, I will see a tree. So I'd have to like block off all my windows. I could go, I could do it, you know, I could. Um, but not why. Not so I'm not I'm not going to because why, uh, but like you know, you could you could do that, and uh, it's insane to me that some people don't try to avoid trees but just don't end up seeing them because they just aren't a part of their life so much. Because trees are such a a big part of my life, you know. Like we have to worry about uh, trees falling on the road and stuff when there's storms. Not 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 worry about like it happening, but like where did it happen, you know? There are people out there who, uh, you know, a tree falling on the highway, it's not going to happen because the highway doesn't have trees near it because all you have near the highway are, like, more highways, you know? Um, we have to we have to worry about, like, uh, trees falling on... And again, not not worry that it will happen, but where, you know? The, the radio when uh, in a storm is never, never... Oh, there was a tree falling. Oh, wow, what a, what a weird thing, you know? Like, no, it, it's... Trees have fallen here and here. Be careful. Maybe try and go around this way. No trees. Uh, no trees over there, on the on the road yet. You know, it's uh, it's a whole different experience when you uh, when you live in an area with lots of trees, versus when you live in an area with uh, not lots of trees. But you know, such is life. Such is life. 
It's okay. I like it. I like living with trees. I think they smell nice. So I'm here for it, you know. But uh, it is kind of uh, incredible that some people go days without seeing trees. I watched that uh, that episode where we played on uh, Ashwood Asylum, and I was like, what the heck? Why are we on, like, at the end of the episode here? This is the first one. Yeah, I played on Vulture Manor, and then I went to Ashwood Asylum for some reason. I really don't know what happened. But that's, that's that's you know, how it happened. I don't, I don't really know what uh, what caused that to happen in my brain. I think we took a break or something like that, but... I don't know. Something something weird happened in my brain in that moment when we were having to select uh, Volter Manor again. And somehow I thought that that ended... That, that those were two separate episodes, even. As I was recording. So I was, like, super confused when I went to, to upload the Gunfire Report episode. And I'm like, what the heck? Why are there, like, so few episodes here? What happened to one? But I understand now. I understand now. It's okay. It's weird though, dude. It's a weird episode. For a number of reasons. But, yeah, whatever. Yo, that was a headshot. Don't even give me that. Um, yeah, so just, um, what were we talking about? Forget. It's gone now, dude. Something about, uh, no, it's gone. It is gone. We have an island, like a uh, kitchen island. My father's been working on it. It's one of the things that has been uh, annoying me as he's been working on it. So it'll be nice to have when it's done, but it has been a, uh, a very annoying process to, to get there, for sure. Uh, but he's going to be finishing up this weekend, I hear. So we'll have uh, a nice little island up there to, to chop food and stuff. My mother's saying it's going to finally be uh, what gets her to cook and stuff. I'm like, you just don't want to cook. <laughs> Your motivate your your lack of motivation for cooking doesn't boil down to uh, it's not having the space. It's it's you just don't like cooking. <laughs> the island isn't gonna help you. You know, I think that uh, yeah, they're yeah they like cooking, and you're gonna do it even if you don't have the space, or or you don't like cooking. It doesn't matter how much space you have. It's not gonna be fun. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind having a, a small space to work with. Look at. That's that I like having a larger space to work with. But if I have a small space to work with, like I'm still gonna cook as much as I want, whatever I want, you know, I'm not gonna let that stop me. Cause I enjoy it, you know. So if it's a little bit harder for me to do, it's fine, because I still at least I still get to do it, you know. So uh it's kind of I always find it silly when people are like, Oh I'm gonna get this and then finally I'll be able to do this thing that uh that I wanna do. I'm like, I think the problem is just that you don't wanna do it, you know? Like, a lot of people do it with YouTube. They're like, I don't have the right recording equipment, or uh, I don't have the right webcam, I don't have a good microphone, I don't have a good computer to record. I'm like, I think the issue here is, isn't that you, you're not good, and I don't think the issue is that you don't have the right tools. I think it's, you just don't really want to, which is okay. You know, not everybody has to want to do the same things. Not everybody want, has to want to cook. Not everybody has to want to be a YouTuber or whatever, but... I think that uh, if you actually want to do something, you're not going to care if you have uh, the right tools to make it the best it can be. I think you're going to hop into it and, and do it as best you can with what you got and, and, and grow as you go, right? That's that's my opinion, anyway. I think if your motivation for it is is, stump, is, uh, is stumped by you not having, you know, an island in your kitchen or a good microphone or, you know, whatever. I think I think if that's stopping you from from doing what uh, what you want to do I think I think the issue here is is just that you don't want to do it badly enough you know maybe it's not worth investing in it maybe it is but like you should find out first but uh, I'm excited about the island in the kitchen anyway because I like cooking and I'm gonna be putting it to use for sure be making uh, some stuff I don't really like Thing is, their kitchen actually has a good amount of space in it, so I don't really know what I'm gonna use for it. So definitely baking is gonna be easier having a nice big island for uh, for stuff. You know, just 
make uh, doughs and whatnot on it. It'll be very nice for that, but um, yeah, I don't really know. We actually have quite a bit of counter space up there, so it's, it's uh, I don't even know what I'm going to be able to use the island for so much, but definitely baking um, for sure would be very nice to have a little bit of extra counter space just to work with, you know. Oftentimes I end up going to the table when I'm baking to finish up the doughs or whatever because that's where the space is, right? And uh, with this I, I might not have to do that, you know? With this one I might be able to stand at the uh, the island in the, in the kitchen and um, do it that way. What I would like to have is an island that is uh, like just a big old flat cutting board on top of it, you know? So that I can cut right on top of it instead of having to put a cutting board on top and then cut on that. Um, so I'd like to be able to just put stuff onto the, the island, chop away, and then... Uh, You've let the area get breached. I know I let the area get breached. I don't care, dude. I'd like to uh, be able to just put stuff on the island and then and then chop right on it because that would be very convenient to not have to worry about like cutting boards and stuff but at the same time not that big a deal <laughs> so you know whatever um, but I'm excited about it nonetheless it'll be nice to have a little bit of extra counter space uh, even though it's not super necessary it'll, it's always nice right a little bit of extra space to work with is, is never a bad thing in my opinion. It's it's always a good thing. So. It'll be very nice to have. But it has been a very annoying project of his. For sure. You know, worth it when it's done I guess. But eh, I don't even know. I don't think it's worth it. You know, from, from, from how much it's inconvenienced me for him to be working on it. Um, I really, that's my notification I'll take a peek in what it is I think it's probably my sister saying that dinner's ready I don't really care it's my sister saying something anyway uh, she's just saying sounds good I don't know why but she's uh, she's saying sounds good for something so <laughs> that's okay um, anyway you know, it's, it's, it'll be nice to have. But I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's a fair trade. <laughs> I think I think definitely uh, I would rather not have the island and not be disturbed so much. But I think the uh, thing is, is, it's kind of a false dilemma, you know? It's not like if I didn't have the island, I'd have peace and quiet. You know, it's not like... You know, the alternative here is he was working on something else with his spare time, you know? The annoyance is always there. At least the island I get to have some use out of it. But uh, my ideal would be to just peace and quiet. Even at the cost of an island. You know, the island isn't important enough to me for... Except we have, we have actually like a, a good amount of space up there. Nice backflip, dude. We actually have a good amount of space up there. It's not necessary, so... It'll be nice, though. We have it. I mean, it's not like... I can trade it for peace and quiet over the past, like, month <laughs> or two, you know? Like, it's... It's done, pretty much. A little bit, a little bit more work to do on it, I think. But uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have. It'll be nice. The it'll be nice to have. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do on it. Like, what, 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 what uses a lot of counter space? And I don't know. Some, sometimes, you know, I'm cooking and like the counters are just a mess. But like, the reality is, just like if you clean your counters. That's not a problem. So, you know, if, if you're going to be building an island to, to fix that problem, I mean, what's going to end up happening is you leave stuff on the island and now it's filled up too. So, it doesn't really solve the problem, right? It just kind of delays it. But other than that, I don't know. I don't really have uh, I don't really have issues with counter space. I tend to clean up after myself as I go. Um, and outside of uh, again, like. Uh, Outside of, uh... Okay, I want to get around this. I want to get around this ASAP, please. Okay, that's not really what I was hoping for, but sure. Uh, outside of uh, baking, where you have, like, a lot of ingredients and big bowls and you need to have lots of space to mix stuff and whatnot, like, that's that's when uh, having a nice large island is, is, is nice, but... 
I'm thinking like, okay, I'm gonna make a stir fry. I'm gonna make, you know, pasta. I'm gonna make uh, an omelet. Like, don't really need, uh, don't really need that much space for it. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna put it to use. It's gonna, it's gonna sit up there. I'm gonna be like, hmm, it's very nice to have, but uh, Money, anyone? not particularly practical for me. <laughs> Probably just get annoyed with it being there for for a while until I end up actually needing it. Um, with it uh, just being in the way as I try to maneuver, m like move around the kitchen <laughs> is probably what I it's probably what I'm gonna imagine but when I use it it will be very very nice to have anyway but that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say you guys like cooking and I'll see you next time bye bye